Good morning, guys. It is Thursday, January the 11th. The time is 9.23 Eastern Standard. The market is about to open in a few minutes. Um, today, it is Thursday, and we had core inflation come out. And as you can see right there, when core inflation came out, we had an immediate drop in the market. The market went down from its high sitting at uh, sitting at 40 Let's see, we were sitting at a high of 48.37 halves, and we went down to a low of uh, 48.02 halves. So you can see that here on the, the core inflation number, which it looks like, um, let's see, the core inflation rate came out slightly higher than expected. It looks like the forecast was 0 0.2. Uh, inflation rate month over month was 0 0.3. The forecast was 0 0.2. Uh, and I'm not exactly sure what the the P stands for. Um, anyways, uh, I know that A is actual and F is forecasted. So um, that being said, guys, the inflation rate year over year, it looks like it was slightly higher than projected. Whatever the numbers are, guys, it uh, really doesn't matter to me at all. Uh, what matters is how the market reacted. Although, as you, as you can see, the inflation rate was, it looks like slightly higher than what the market was um, what the market was expecting. So with that being said, guys, it is January 11th. We had core inflation today and core inflation was ever so slightly higher than uh, forecasted. Um, the market appears to be reacting in a mixed bag to that. We had an initial move down and now just coming into the market open, we are uh, moving higher uh, back up to around my limit order. So guys, you can see that I've put in a limit order at 50% of this 50% uh, of this wick inefficiency here. So we have a wick inefficiency here and you can see that I put my order right there at the halfway point. That's 4833 quarters. Uh, will that get filled? I don't know, but that's uh, a wick inefficiency. I think the market should come back and uh, fill in or, or retest. So I, I think I'll probably get filled on that on the market open. Um, let's talk a little bit about Wednesday, uh, January, let's see, Wednesday, January the 10th trading on the micro ES. We can see that we had a large green candle um, and we traded up on Wednesday all the way to a high of 48.28 spot 50. That high took us about to this, uh, the low of this candle right here, the high that we made on Thursday, the 28th of December, uh, we came and just retested basically the low of that candle. Um, the market traded back down into, into this fair value gap. Let me show you here. So you can see we had a fair value gap here from point A to point B and the market traded uh, back, back down into it. And get the uh, right so as you can see the market traded back down into this fair value gap and basically filled in the fair value gap and now we're moving back up to a daily rejection block so uh, my order is basically on this daily rejection block which is at 4834 quarters um, and then coming into Thursday, we we're initially trading higher, uh, but I have a feeling that we're probably going to end up seeing a black candle today. So with that being said, guys, on Monday, I thought that the market would come back down to this uh, rejection block this week at 47.31 three quarters. That obviously didn't happen, so I was a little bit off on my prediction. However, I feel that in the future, we are uh, sometime in 2024 or probably uh, sooner than that. I mean, within within the next uh, couple of weeks, I think that what we're going to do or what the market is more likely than not to do is trade higher and then come back down. Um, we have gaps in the chart. We have fair value gaps. We have fair value gaps lower that ultimately need to be filled. So I think that the uh, market is going to make its way higher and then back down. Basically, I, I think that's sort of basically what we're looking at. Uh, let's head down to the hourly chart. Looking at the hourly chart, looking at some different opportunities you had to trade. We had a large sort of fair value gap here. 
show you that here to here and so you can see that you did have a couple of different shorting opportunities using this fair value gap. You had a shorting opportunity here, a little bit of a shorting opportunity here. Um, looking at your opportunities to long, guys, let's take a look at this fair value gap would have been the best right here to right here. As you can see there on Tuesday, we had an excellent long opportunity on this fair value gap. So that fair value gap would have gotten you in there. Looking at some other uh, trading opportunities here in the hourly chart, we see this rejection block. If you would have traded, uh, put in a limit order long at 47.87 spot 75 or a little bit higher than that, right on that rejection block, you might have gotten filled right there, in which case that would have been a pretty nice uh, looking long. Finally, we had a fair value gap here that you could have put a limit order in. That also would have been a profitable trade on the long side. Um, not a whole lot of opportunities to short in the recent past. Uh, mostly you're looking at opportunities to long. I have a feeling that the uh, coming into the near future, uh, more likely than not, your opportunities to short are going to outweigh your opportunities to long. As I think that the, the liquidity in the market is at some point going to dry up. Um, so with that being said, guys, um, the reason, broadly speaking, according to the fundamentals, why the the stock market has been rising as of late um, is is due to uh, dovishness by the Fed. Uh, in other words, the the market is predicting uh, a greater injection of, of liquidity and that money should become easier to get a hold of, uh, easier credit, uh, lower interest rates. That's what the market is already factoring in. And I have a feeling that when those interest rate cuts finally do come, the market will have already priced that in and uh, you'll see the market start to tread back down. So I think that some of the euphoria in the stock market is coming to an end. Although, guys, of course, that's my speculation. I don't have uh, any hard evidence of that. Uh, it's just that the market typically is a discount mechanism and it, it factors these things in. So I have a feeling that the the rate cuts and the, the dovishness that... Uh, Fed Chair Powell has has indicated uh, is probably about to come to, uh, it's already been factored in. So I do think that the market, uh, more likely than not, will eventually start making its way back down. Um, might even get a fill while I'm recording this video. So that is my current thoughts coming into Thursday, January the 11th. Looking at our daily chart, I think that the market is coming to quite simply... There's a rejection block here, but there's also these wick inefficiencies that the market is coming back up to retest. And that's what I think that the market is doing. It's coming back up to re, uh, retest these inefficiencies as well as this rejection block. And, and so I think that the market is probably reaching somewhere near a high. Uh, you could see the market blow a little bit past this high and then trade and then trade lower. Uh, but we'll see. I think, I think ultimately... Uh, as we're sitting right now, you probably want to be transitioning to mostly short, uh, looking for opportunities to short. So, okay, guys, uh, let's take a quick look at the weekly chart and see where we're at. So you can see that our weekly chart here um, on the S&P 500, on the MES, we're forming a large green candle. Coming into Friday, I'd be looking at the, thank God it's Friday model. seeing where that would take us if we've made a high for the week. Uh, and that would make about sense, 20 to 30%, 48, 13 halves, and 48, 01 quarters. So coming into Friday, guys, uh, make sure to go research ICT's, uh, thank God it's Friday model. It's a very important model, um, and, it's, and it's particularly useful, obviously, only on Fridays, uh, since the thank God it's Friday model. So uh, in addition to that, guys, you see that we are currently trading above our previous all-time high that we made in January of 2022. And again, it just gives me reason to believe that that probably the euphoria in the stock market is is coming to an end. And I would expect some of these inflated stock prices and uh, to, to start coming back down. Um, I think that the market will start discounting the, the Fed's dovishness in the near future. All right, guys, uh, very quickly, because we're already here, let's take a look at our regular trading hours and see how the market is opening on Thursday and... Put, make that a little bit a part of the recording. So as you can see on the uh, 
bottom right here, I've changed that to regular trading hours. And we've, let's go down to the 10 minute chart. All right, we, we opened up and then we're coming back, coming back down. I think that the market is probably gonna do something like this. I think that's what we're looking at, guys. I have a feeling that my my uh, order for, for shorting for MES here is going to be uh, filled. Finally, let me show you some of my executions. And I'll show you on the electronic trading hours. So um, I took a loss. I took a short here at 48.18, spot 2.5. I ended up taking a loss on it. I, I, I'll be honest with you. I could have uh, gotten out for like a $100 profit, um, and I didn't. But I did uh, take a successful trade here. You can see that I shorted at this rejection block. The market went higher. I had some drawdown, but then I covered it at 48.20 spot 2.5. So uh, I made six and a quarter points this morning on the economic release. And, and to be honest with you, I could have made like 30 points, but I, I got out as soon as I saw as, as soon as I saw that I was in profit. I, I probably got out too early. Um, so I, I've taken a couple trades today. Uh, one was a loss and one was uh, a profit. So that short at 48.26 spot 50, which was at this rejection block, I'm highlighting with the cursor. I held it through some drawdown and then on our economic release this morning, I ended up making uh, six, uh, six and a quarter points. All right, guys, you can find all of my, uh, you can find all of my referral links in the description box below. Uh, please use them. Apex Trader Funding, American Express, Blue Cash Preferred Credit Cards. You get $75 in reward statement if you sign up using my link. Um, Top Step Trader Funding, as well as Trading View. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Please make sure to use the referral links, like, uh, comment, and subscribe.